All right, guys, and welcome back to Valheim. Now, I'm going to have to do a little bit of hunting in the swamp today. I have found another swamp biome, and let me just show you quickly on the map. I did a lot of sailing. This is where I am at home, and I found a swamp over here. I've done a little exploring, but I have managed to get a, uh, a portal here. I did die once, but that's okay. I managed to get all my stuff back. And, uh, well, I'm going to start exploring the swamp. I know there's a dungeon in here or two, and I found a couple down this end. It's got a little island of dark forest right here, which I'm going to travel to today, and hopefully we'll be able to get the long sought after iron scraps. Now, I can't obviously carry them through the portal, but I have got a chest on the other side of this portal where I would be able to store it and then sail over there a little bit later to pick it up. So wish me luck. All right, we're back in the swamp and uh, just got to take on a few of the local enemies. Get on with trying to finish what I've been trying to finish. And that is really to just get to the Iron Age. Now, I've managed to grab about seven or eight iron scraps from that. Uh, look at that, we've got blobs. Oh, yeah, I hate those things. So yeah, I managed to grab seven or eight iron scraps from the mine on my way back home to pick up the swamp key I thought well I'll just I'll just dig it out now and uh, yeah that's really cool I didn't think it would be that easy but then maybe finding those scrap piles isn't so easy when you do have them here it is this is where I picked it out from when you do have them getting uh, getting caught in the trap was probably really easy you know you're not watching your back Got a long way to go in this biome, so I'm going to have to keep pressing on. Time is running out, but thank God it is surrounded by this dark forest. It brings a ray of light. I love the way that the swamp biome looks when it's n when you're not in it. You know, when you're just on the fringes of it. It looks so. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Really don't need grayling trouble today, thank you very much. Right, those blobs have returned. The respawning blobs. Let me just give them a volley. Alright, they're quite good at dodging. One out of the way. Gotcha. Just not knowing the noises of these creatures. I can hear them, but I can't see them. Well, the archer hasn't seen me yet, so I'm going to do the brave thing and get the hell out of here okay I don't want the deer around me because the the draugas get attracted to them and they go after them you know but we should be getting close to where I saw one of these dungeons yes look right ahead over there I think there's another one over this side as well look we have two dungeons really close together so I've never been in one. This is a first for me. Well, here it is. I'm going in, folks. I have the swamp key this time. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> the sunken crypt. Now, I don't know what to expect in here. We've got yellow mushrooms. That's all good. There's muddy scrap piles right ahead, I can see those. Looks like we're gonna, if we do fight, we're fighting in the water. Yep. Draugr alert. How many have we got? We've got two. Okay. One down. Recover. Just gonna take it nice and slow. 
this? A body pile. Is that like a spawner for the drought? Oh, there's one right here. Okay, okay. One more time. Alright, he's done as well. God, these places. Look at this. So we've... Oh, this is the bone mass location. Oh, he's in this biome. Really close to me as well. That's not good. Well, it is good. I found him. But we will not be going for him today. That's for damn sure. What, are the, what do we have in the chests in here? Oh, look at this. Loads of scrap iron. It pushes my weight up considerably, though. And I have been meaning to watch my weight in lockdown. Uh, what is this? Withered bone. Oh, apparently you need these to summon bone mass and look we've got a muddy scrap pile here oh there's just so much good stuff so let me see what else is around here before I decide to mine anything okay back away back away that's just sunk nothing there well that's it so actually the muddy scrap pile I will come back for. Let's go check out the other one. I have to say though, it's nice to know I can get here so easily. But we have, we've got another one right here. How to get to it though? It's a little bit cut off. Let me go around this side. Now Bone Mass is the third boss of the game. And you have to summon him by, you know, sacrificing things. Um, but I really, really don't want to have to face him. Unless I am thoroughly prepared. And I know, and I know I'm not. I know I'm nowhere near prepared for the third boss. Okay, okay. Been spotted. Wait for him to shoot. One more hit. He's done. Right. Stamina build up, please. Should be good to go in. I don't want to be around here at night, so I've got to do this quickly. The sunken crypts. Sunken crypts number two. Ah, oh, it's just the mo oh more muddy scrap piles blocking the doors. There's loads of them. Right. Well, I suppose I should take this opportunity. But I wonder what is behind the door. There is something behind there. Careful. I need my stamina up. Okay, okay. Be smart, Sam. Going with your shield. Whoa! Okay, come on, come on, come on. Alright, oh, I've lost my rested perk as well. Really not cool. I need to come here with a ship, don't I? What have we got there? Six amber. Oh. Any more for any more. What's in our chest? Oh, look at this! Poison arrows. That's a first. Get rid of these. And we got ourselves some poison arrows. Beautiful. So I guess I'm going to have to do a lot of in and out. Coming through these. Just taking a peek. What's inside here? What have we got? Okay, there's a... Rager, I think that's his helmet on the other side. Yep, there he is. Oh, and we've got a blob in there as well. Okay. I'm just going to go for the blob. You think you can hide? Alright, he's done. Okay, let's get our pickaxe back. Oops, this way, please. Oh my god, there is ridiculous amounts of scrap and this is a huge cavern compared to the other one which was relatively tiny this is definitely the best <laughs> make sure I get every last drop of this stuff because I don't want to have to come back here too much too often I didn't know this was how it worked that, that you'd have to carve your way through every tunnel 
Well, I've got to say, I'm mostly disappointed. <laughs> I was expecting more stuff behind these doors. Another, oh, it's just the end of the line. And my axe is gone. Right, well, that's the end of the adventure in this in this one. I'm going to... Mm, I'm going to have to get out of here. And if it's if it's dark outside, I'm going to need my Ixir and I'm going to just sprint as fast as I can. I, ha I cannot repair my axe in here. It's a real shame. But, there, as you can see, there are plenty more tunnels to discover. But we're saving those for another day. Right. As you can see, we're pretty close to a a mountain biome here as well. But look at the night sky tonight. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Just beautiful. Time to leave this place and do no more harm to the creatures it contains, apart from this one. I don't like this one. Yeah, you can go. Oh, and you. Don't like you either. See you later. So, by the way, you may have, your eyes may have been drawn to this over here. It's just simply a, a stand for a stone, and I and I had a look in it. Uh, so yeah, it's it's all sort of these these stones. I thought were chests, but they're just look like the top of castle mounts, and uh, the torches are like they draw your eye. But when you come up to this, the rune stone, and read it, read this. Long ages ago, the world. Oh crap! There's the serpent. What is that doing here? That's the sea serpent. I had no idea it could spawn. Oh my god, look and the Draugas are, are heading out to it. What the hell? What the hell is going on? they're fighting it and uh, would I be able to pick up its scales if they beat it things are dying in there what a random world event anyway back to this have a read of that long, age, long ages ago the world of Valheim was home to a race of proud and noble people they built great towers that touched the clouds and delved deep into the earth for precious metals, but their pride was their undoing. They challenged the very gods and went to war against the Aesir and the Vanir, destroying themselves completely. Great Odin leveled their cities and Loki consumed their minds in fire. Mighty Thor broke down their towers and Freya sowed their fields with salt tears. Now they are sunk many hundreds of years deep, no songs sing of their stories. And the earth has claimed their cities. But pride cannot be killed entirely, and the warriors who fought in that final battle will not surrender until their bodies are dust, and the dust long gone. They return as Draugr, unholy walkers in ancient armour, creatures of rust and despair. Break them, bury them, and let them know they are dead. Great, great passage. Love that. Right. Well, that's enough fun in this area for now. What a, what a really rare event to see the sea serpent so close to land. The sad thing is, I cannot simply... I cannot simply carry my iron home. I'm going to have to ship it. Which means I've got to store it here temporarily until I can get a ship back out here. Because I sailed here a while ago and I've, I, I can't build a ship from here, I don't think. Uh, so I'm going to have to store it all in here. Look at that. 34 pieces of scrap iron. So I suppose I could bring the I could bring the items I need to build a ship all the way over here and then build one on this island. That that could be a that could be a good call. Well, I have completely rinsed. <laughs> well, not even completely. I have spent uh, a good couple of hours mining away inside these and you can see in my other cave over there or the other sunken chamber over there i built a workbench to repair my antler axe and wow i've got a lot of stuff the sunken crypts i should call them and uh, well i've got a i've still got loads more i could mine in here um, but i have amassed quite a, a, a huge amount of stuff so what i want to do 
And I've built a, I've built a ship uh, very close, very close by, um, but there is still a whole load of iron scraps in these two crypts. And what I want to do is grab all the parts that I have, try not to die in here, is very quickly get over there with all my iron so that I can sail it back. I've built, a, so I, I transported the, the bronze nails and everything I needed to build a ship uh, to my Uh, to where my portal is, and then I've lost, no, I've forgotten where I've stashed everything in here. I think it's in this side. Yeah, here we go. So uh, I've got a whole load of iron here as well, and now I'm carrying too much. So um, unfortunately, I have to sacrifice huge amounts of this iron. So a whole stack is going gonna, is gonna to weigh 300, so I can, I can take a little more. Take the absolute maximum that we can. There we go. So, a load of iron scraps there, and I'm going to have to run all the way back. All the way back to my boat, stash it up, and come back again. And I'm just going to ferry this stuff across. It's going to take a little while. And there's a <laughs> there's a troll to dodge along the way. Um, oh, I just realised I've run out of honey. Give me the most amount of stamina. I, acti uh, I, I activated Ekthir just to get me here, but it, it takes about five minutes to run around. So, using up all that time. Unfortunately, Ekthir is now gone. Now the troll is around here somewhere. He was fighting something in the swamp, which was kind of useful. Uh, what I don't want to do is drag him back to where my base is, otherwise I will have to kill him. And do you know what? I've done enough today. I just want to get this stuff back. But I've got to say, it's so handy having this dark forest biome right next to my uh, my swamp because I can just cut around the edges of it it's been super useful now as I had bad experiences with boats before having most of them been destroyed <laughs> oh, the pain the pain it is it's it is heartbreaking when you lose one um, I decided I'd build a second boat and have two boats in the game which is what this is all about. It's about getting my stuff back home safely and hopefully my boat is still there. Oh, the sign, the sight of a mast. When I most need it. Okay, let's get this stuff in the storage. Because I'll have to, I'll have to carry some myself. Yeah, I can take four full stacks here. What was that? Get lost. Come here, come here. Say hello to my little friend. There we go. Let's get rid of you. And um, I have got some more in a chest here. Right by my base. It's just how much do I have? There's a whole load in those mines. Honestly, it's ridiculous how much I've got now. So we've got two more full stacks here. So let me take, oh I can't even carry all of this, let me take as much as I can here down to the boats. Okay, so the boat, the boat weighs a thousand. I don't know if that makes any difference whatsoever, but it's getting heavy. Okay, just going to use a little time to sit down. Relax, get my comfort back, get the five minute buff, and then go and get some more iron. Okay, so the other thing you find in here is lots of gold and valuable jewels. There's even, I've even got some ancient bark, I think I've got stashed away somewhere. Um, more iron, let's grab this, we'll leave the wood here. And 
be doing. That's a whole load of stuff, so can we possibly afford to take this gold as well? Golden valuables. Oh, we'll leave this. And I think that's it for now. There is other stuff to mine. As I found these caves, these chasms, they open up in huge ways everywhere. Um, once you unblock one door, many more are to be revealed. Right, I'm going to wait for the, the daylight, I think, would be my best bet. Alright, it is day... <laughs> day 1, 2, 3, 123. Oh my god, I am spending so long playing this game. But it is time to finally make our move. And get out of here. Right, I'm going to hopefully have a bounty to take home with me of iron, if I can get across the sea safely. The risk is not re without reward, but it is a high, high risk. <sighs> Finally we're back to the ship. Now I should have... I should be able to, I should say. Stock up the storage. I'm sticking all my spare iron. That is a, that is a full boat. 1,200. Wait, I hope that doesn't mean the boat sinks. I have no idea if extra weight in a boat causes any damage to it whatsoever. Uh, let me just check if I've left anything in the, the crate here that I can carry myself, uh, which I haven't. Okay, so we're going to leave our portal well alone and we're going to take to the high seas once more. In fact, I need this guy gone so he doesn't destroy my lovely home. Alright. Ahoy Macy's. I'll see you on the other side. If we can get a move on. Let's get the wind behind us. The sails are up. And out in the ocean. What I really don't need right now, as you can imagine, I don't want to tempt fate by even mentioning the word. planes by them right ahead of us. Okay, well at least there is land relatively close to us. But yeah, this is a planes by them. You notice these really tall stony structures. I've noticed a few of them. I, don't, I can't tell you what a good sight that is though. Just keep looking behind me in case we hear that hideous screeching of the sea serpent. God, do you know when I, I just saw this ship here moored at my own house, I was like, what the hell? Who's found it? It was my boat. It's fine. Right, let's just slow ourselves right down. And thank the Norse gods for a safe arrival. I can't tell you how excited I am to have all this stuff back. Look at this, look at this, all this iron, I can't believe it, honestly. I spent so long mining this stuff, now it tells me I'm carrying too much. Well, of course it would. Alright, let's just take this one by one, and we're going to throw some of it straight away into our smelter. Scrap iron is in. Oh my word. And it's full of coal, that's beautiful. Right, so let's add our scrap iron here into the chest. Now I'm just going to ferry this stuff out of my boat and back again. One by one. I'll be back in a second when we've actually produced some of this beautiful stuff. Oh, there it is. That beautiful sound. And what have we got? Two pieces of iron and we've instantly got a few new recipes. Look at that. Huntsman bow. Iron axe. Armor, iron mace, iron nails, helmet, iron pickaxe. This is it. Look at this. All these crow, all these recipes coming up. Beautiful. Smith's anvil. I can finally upgrade my workbench and forge to the highest levels. We've got wooden beams, gates, standing torches. It's just a beautiful thing to finally be in the Iron Age, people. We have progressed. We have evolved. So a full set of iron armor is, <laughs> I mean, it's heavy though, 
but the armor's okay. For a level 14, I don't know whether that's the, the, the best armor in the world, but with iron nails, by the way, you get to build a much bigger boat. The Huntsman bow looks pretty damn useful. Finally worked and strung a Huntsman's joy. It's going to take... Why does it need feathers, anyway? But there's a whole load of stuff here to to put together. I'm going to have a little explore of what I can actually do with it. But one thing I will most definitely be building is this here, the iron pickaxe. Now, there's a main the main reason I want to do that is because my next journey will involve going into the mountains. Oh, yes. We shall. Now, I've also cultivated a bit of land here. Now, the way you do that is you, you craft the, the brass... Sorry, the bronze uh, cultivator. That's this thing here. Um, and I'll just show you what it looks like. So, it's um, this little reiki thing. And once you've got it, you can cultivate a bit of land, as I had done here. And I planted some carrot seeds. Carrot seeds you find in the, the forest biome, I think it was. Uh, or was it the swamp? I can't remember. Anyway, um, once you've got it in hand, you can use it to, one, cultivate the land over here. Or you can put grass down where there was bare ground before. And I've done that around my home. If you've got the carrot seeds, of course... Um, you can plant it to grow carrots or you can plant them to get more seeds. Uh, if you have a carrot, you can plant a carrot to get more seeds, kind of thing. To get, plant the seeds to get the carrot. It's, it's chicken and egg stuff, really. Uh, and if you want to plant a few trees, we can do that here as well. So we can now craft carrot soup. It's huge in terms of, um, of health and stamina and it lasts a long time it's really really useful so you only need three carrots and one mushroom so I'm just gonna craft one just to see what it smells like one carrot soup coming up a mushroom and three carrots it's quite a simple recipe and there it is a brand new item doesn't it look gorgeous doesn't need fermenting either fantastic so I had been uh, also crafting some frost resistant mead as I told you I wanted to go into the mountains um, because I want to see if I can get hold of some silver, maybe some um, frost stuff so I can build frost arrows and maybe some wolf skin. I'm probably going to die um, but that will be in an upcoming episode. Many deaths in the mountains will probably be the title. Um, so I crafted some, some uh, frost resistant mead but I never showed you what happens when you you ferment it. It lasts a couple of days. You've got to make the potion in the cauldron. Then you've got to stick it in the fermenter. Two or three game days later, and it's ready to go. And it sounds much like a flushing toilet, but there you go. It drops them all out in one go. Six frost-resistant meads. All for me. How cool is that? That's brand new item in my list. I am building up slowly a bit of an apothecary uh, of, of potions. Let's sleep the night and listen to the beautiful tones. It sounds almost like a space battle when you sleep and you've left stuff in the uh, smelter or the... <laughs> it's even better when you've got coal on the go as well. The iron pickaxe. You're coming with me. Now, how do we repair it? Repair station level 2. I presume I can do that at the forge. That's okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to build the iron mace now because I want to bludgeon something with it. There it is, the new iron mace. I'm sorry, old bronze mace. Let's see the blunt power on you. Level 3 was 47. This thing, 55. It trumps you at level 1. So, well worth doing, and I can't wait to find something to hit with it. Oh, look at this. Oh, my word. What a beautiful thing. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I have now reached the Iron Age. I feel... Super powerful. <laughs> I'll be back with more from Valheim very soon. And please do leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And if, you, uh, if you're new to the channel and you want to watch more of these and many other games that I play, it's mainly a Let's Play channel. I really appreciate your support. So hit the subscribe button and, of course, the notification bell. And uh, hopefully I'll see you here for more videos. Take care. All the very best to you guys. And good night.